Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Another wonderful day lies ahead of us, a day of development, a day of prosperity, a day, ladies and gentlemen, of trade. As promised last time, this session, we're going to try and fix up some of our, you know, trade deals and try and get us back up to the same heights of exports as we had previously. In fact, if you look off into the distance, you'll see it seems as though the Earth itself has shifted to allow us to do so. But before we get into that, folks, just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know. As always, leaving a like and a comment down below makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. If you have any ideas, suggestions, thoughts, tips, whatever it might be, stories of your own you'd like to share then uh, share it down below. I, I do read through all the comments. It brings me a lot of joy and pleasure uh, just seeing what people have to say. And it also brings me a lot of joy and pleasure to actually do a fly through like this. It's really quite neat, the uh, the level of detail and, uh, and depth that this game has. I am super pumped for what lies ahead for our nation. Uh, so let's not waste any more time, folks. Let's, uh, let's get started, shall we? Uh, so right off the bat, I just want to mention before we hit play, I did finally go ahead and make an edit that many of you have asked me to make for a very, very long time. And that is, in fact, yes, the land beyond our borders. Apparently, an updated version of this map is now available, but you have to start a new game for it. And in that updated version, there is actually a direct access to the rest of the world over here. Uh, so I didn't take that as cheating, even though I had to use the cheat menu to do it. Uh, so I just want to share, a, I guess, a couple things. Uh, if you hold down C-H-E, well, if you hold down C-H-E, you activate the cheat mode. Uh, you go to the settings tab over here, and then you can do quite a few things. I don't want to actually cheat anything in the game. You can do a lot of things over here that I'm not interested in doing for a uh, playthrough. However, if you go into uh, general debug and cheat functions, one thing is that I've been, it's been suggested that I try this line spacing thing out as well. Um, if we're all cool with that, then I'll keep that on. I, I guess what it tries to do is, is it tries to make the distance between buses and trucks and everything equal. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to try it for this session. I'm curious to know what y'all think about that. Let me know uh, down below, you know, your opinion on, on the line spacing, uh, quote unquote, cheat there. Uh, it makes sense to me as something that should be in the game. Like that's how buses and stuff should work. But if it's too precise, if it's too perfect, at that point, I start to question like it feels a little at that point, it feels a little cheaty. Um, but the main one I wanted to point out was this landscape editor mode, which is what we used. This terrain editor over here is what we use to uh, to dig this out, and I thought I'd share that for those of you who are wondering how I did that. Uh, previously, in an older build, you would have to actually hit play to do any terraforming like this, but in, in this current build, you don't. You can terraform uh, while paused as well. So let's go ahead and turn landscape editor mode off, back out of this. Once again, CHE takes us out of the cheat mode, and now we can uh, resume our duties as... Uh, as the leader of this glorious nation, and we can finally, again, tackle that as well. On that topic, though, something that doesn't require us to, you know, make modifications to update the map or anything like that, uh, it's been brought up quite a bit that we should trade with the NATO nations, and I wholeheartedly agree. We should absolutely trade with the NATO nations, and I, I've kept saying, like, oh, you know, it's, uh, it's all the way, it's all, oh my god, oh lord, <laughs> keep forgetting how big the map is. It's all the way down over here, it's all the way off in the distance over there. We don't have access to the water either because the, um, and, and you'll remember, I mean, many episodes ago now, many episodes ago now, uh, we tried because we're just like, oh, you know, the river meanders quite a bit and it is a long journey, but it does go in the right direction. Uh, ultimately, it does reach NATO waters, but... But if we go a little bit further back following this river, you'll see that before it gets there, if I can, wow, I keep forgetting how long this is. Like this is, this is gonna be a, a long trip for our, uh, for our ship. Wait, hold on, I've, I've completely lost track of where I am. Sorry, all right, no, 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 okay, here, here we are, here we are. Wow, the, <laughs> the map is huge. This is the river I wanna look at. We have two rivers, okay. So this river over here meanders as well, it goes down, loops back around, goes up. Again, this is gonna be a long, long trip. Uh, up and over and around and up again, goes out of the map, stays out of the map, comes back in, and then goes out into NATO waters. This is the uh, this is the uh, the one I was looking at, and, and there's actually a bridge over here as well. Hmm, interesting. Um, anyway, point being, what I'm getting at is, 
when we many, many episodes ago tried to export to NATO nations via sea, uh, it wasn't working. The There was a question mark over our ship and it was like, nah, I don't know how to get there. And I'd assumed it was because of this. I'd assumed it was because, well, you know, we technically aren't directly connected to the NATO uh, border uh, unless the boat starts, you know, in this little corner over here. Turns out, folks, that isn't the case. That isn't the case at all. Uh, again, between sessions, I was just kind of looking around. I figured if this is going to be a trade session, let's try and, you know, solve these problems today. Uh, the issue is actually this. This water here is not deep enough. And so thankfully, without the need for cheats or anything like that, we're actually able to go in and uh, let's pick something. Let's pick footpaths. So because what's going to happen is I'm going to need an excavator here so I can go ahead and auto build this. All we have to do is drop this a little bit spend a little bit of money. And that should clear our access. Uh, might want to lower it a little bit more. And this is this is a reasonable amount of terraforming of the of uh, waterways. I would say. I mean, it is it's it's the early 90s. Like this is I would say more than okay now. Uh, in fact, there's a little bit over here as well. Go ahead and drop this down too. There we go. There we go. That should be a clear path. And I thought I saw. I thought that was it because when I was experimenting, that seemed to have do the seem to have do seem to have done the trick but there might be more blockages along the way that we'll take a look at but my point being uh, again just to make a long story short we are it seems we are able to export to NATO nations as well which means we'll be able to make dollars which means that we will be able to access I mean we've always been able to access it but now I will feel good about buying from NATO nations as well because again we want to make sure that we're not giving them money without getting any money back from them in return right we don't want to strengthen their economies at the cost of ours so that's now you know it's open season there which is uh which opens up again a, a whole other conversation uh in terms of uh in terms of trade i think we're good to hit play for now though i'm pretty sure things will move at a decent pace hopefully oil will be up and running today i suspect we'll see that get completed i think i also want to get some of these uh built up too let's go ahead and resume the construction over here because one major issue we do need to solve is uh, the housing crisis. It is a crisis. I need to build more housing across the board. Uh, let's start with these, though. That should help a little bit. These construction offices will get involved, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to spread their priorities appropriately to get the oil fields done as well. Uh, but that should really help with these 2,500, 21 pluses living with their families still. Uh, and, and again, my hope is, yeah, see, like this will, this will empty these guys out a little bit, uh, and I'll be able to scoop people up from uh, Brixtonia, which also needs some more housing, really. Uh, not just Brixonia, but also from Veterinkograd, where we do have a little bit of overcrowding going on. I'll be able to scoop some people up and, and bring them down to Uprisinggrad. Uh, over here, I mean, these guys have been topped up, so hopefully that's enough numbers to uh, properly operate the um, uh, facilities over here. We'll, we'll have to find out, I suppose. I might need to expand more housing over here as well, which will help. Again, we can bring people from Veterinkograd over to here too. So we'll, we'll toy around with that. But the housing crisis is something I want to solve. Uh, maybe that's the next thing we tackle after trade. Unemployment is on the uptick right now. Hopefully that'll go down soon as well. But population's looking good. 35k. The population is, you know, <laughs> feeling pretty feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Uh, government loyalty, we hit 20% last session. Hopefully that will continue to go up and hopefully that will prevent um, immigration to other nations. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and hit play. I think we're pretty comfortable with doing that. Uh, money's looking good. Everything's looking good. I mean... Uh, it, oh man, it feels so good to have things progressing like this. Now I want to point out a couple things as well actually. We have the mechanical components factory over here being constructed. This will be a good money maker for us as well. Uh, but to those of you who are wondering um, about vehicle production, because I've seen that come up fairly often in the last handful of episodes, about making our own uh, cars. We are definitely doing that. We have this whole setup over here, to those of you that might have missed it or might have forgotten. We have an entire setup over here to build vehicles. Uh, the only reason we haven't prioritized that is because we want to make sure that we are making all of the raw, quote-unquote, materials required to build cars and whatnot. Uh, and we have this kind of line set up before we, you know, get this up and running. And then, you know, you're just importing materials to build a thing where we could just wait a little bit longer and, and do all that from, from scratch as well. So that's, the, uh, that's what's going on there with our vehicle production facilities. Uh, now, okay, let's uh, let's do a couple things. Let's do a couple things here. Um, let's take a look at our economy and trade. Let's take a look at the uh, pricing on the global market. 
We want to be picky about what we export for rubles and what we export for dollars. I still think that rubles should be our primary um, currency. I think that makes sense. Uh, so sometimes we won't do what is numerically optimal. I, I, I'm not saying this is guaranteed, but we might end up sometimes doing something that isn't numerically optical, uh, optical, optimal. Sorry, um, but uh, but fits the uh, the role we're playing, right? As I as I often like to do. Um, but it does look like dollars are. Well, the thing is, uh, being completely unfamiliar with dollars, I am actually not entirely sure about price comparisons. See, like a. Uh, oh, really? There's no. There's no. Ameri there's no dollar cargo ships. All right. Well, let's let's take a look at uh, something else. Something that we can maybe use as a comparison point. Uh, let's go to our. You guys are moving okay. It's, it, it is chugging a little bit, isn't it? I wonder what I can do to improve that. It's chugging quite a bit, actually. I wonder if that's because of the line spacing. It feels like it's chugging more than last time. Uh, but anyway, sorry, I'm letting myself get distracted there. Let's take a look at... Um, go to the vehicle depot over here. Take a look at dollars. Let's take a look at... Um, sorry, dollars. I'm so used to clicking on the, uh, the rubles button. Oh, we actually... Oh, there's actually not much kind of weird if I'm, if I'm perfectly honest i thought we would have more but i don't feel nearly as bad then i've been told like i'm, I'm missing out on like half of the game and stuff but uh it definitely feels like i'm missing out more like on a tenth of the game as opposed to half <laughs> um what about over here if we take a look at dollars no this isn't right something something's not right here Something's not right here. Why Why am I not able to get... Uh... Trucks or anything. Y'all give me some insight. Let me know what's going on over there. There's, there's got to be... There's got to be something up there. We'll still... We'll still take a look at dollars seriously. Uh, because there's got to be something up there. It's the late... It's the early 90s. We should be able to access some... You know, more... More NATO equipment and whatnot. Anyway. Um... So in terms of, we want to look at cells, obviously. What what sells for better? The thing is, right now over here, steel and bricks and mechanical components are easily had and exported. The distance is something to consider as well, because a, a trip to a Soviet um, neighbor is a quick trip. A trip to a NATO neighbor is, you know, a bit of a journey. These boats aren't the fastest. I might, I might need another cargo ship, though. Uh, we're going to be buying a tanker soon, right? Because we want to have... Uh, we're, we're pretty soon we're going to have... Um, uh, fuel and bitumen get transferred from one point to another. Uh, but what about for elsewhere? Three million. Okay, I'm never... I'm never... I'm not never going to have that much. I need something that is fast here. River cargo ship, five knots, nine knots, 14 knots on the dumper. But that's only for, like, gravel and things like that. 14 knots on this general cargo ship, the Frida. Okay, and the Ignatov, 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 not sure how the GH is pronounced in this language group, uh, but that is 12 knots, okay. And I feel like the general cargo ship, 14 knots, higher capacity as well, feels like the right call. The hopper ship is again like gravel and stuff like that, so that's not that's not the call there. I would expect the river cargo ship to be faster, but I guess I guess not. I guess it, I guess the idea is it goes shorter distances with less uh, cargo. Okay. So then, how about we purchase a river cargo ship? Because all right, let's let's take a look at where's our little boat over here. <laughs> where you at, buddy? What are you carrying right now? Thirteen hundred point seven, right? Like we don't need as many bricks and 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 steel and stuff. We don't need as much to be brought down over here. We could go with the river cargo ship taking over this, um, this route. And that way, every time we go to, to trade out dollars, we, we have a bigger load being sent out. Tempting, tempting. It's a lot cheaper. The savings are through the roof. But right now, a million, two million doesn't feel like all that much money either. Though we do have to consider, I would like to get the, uh, Type 587 LOS, loss, type 587 loss, um, for our uh, oil and whatnot, so that's another approximately 3 million, right? All right, let's try this. Let's experiment with some different uh, ships and whatnot. So the river cargo ship is going to take over. 
All right, done it. It's too late now. Too late now. Your schedule, we're going to copy over to our new ship. It's also just nice to have a variety of, you know, ship types and stuff. All right, cool. You've been assigned the schedule. Right. What will this cargo ship do instead? This cargo ship... Get rid of this menu. It's getting a little uh, busy here. You're going to load up on steel bricks clothes. That's all available over here, right? Right now, all we can do is ship lines, so uh, it's a, it's a little bit pickier in terms of what we're uh, what we're exporting, unless I bring other goods to the warehouse and uh, and open storage to export, obviously. So what 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 can we do over here? Um, what 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 sells well for dollars? I mean, we can do both with both. If I'm completely honest, right now, do both with both because dollars will always be more, but its use doesn't seem as much as I'd initially anticipated. I'll be honest. Bricks, 239 a ton versus 182. Okay, the purchasing power is what matters most, though. Concrete, it's a pretty big gap, but again, purchasing power is what matters most. Man, selling meat to to the West would go a long way. We could try that, actually. I mean, if, if the meat problem has been solved, and it certainly feels like we're getting there, if the meat problem has truly been solved, hmm, maybe, maybe not so much. I don't think I'm ready to export food just yet, let's be honest. Chemicals, wow, chemicals would make a lot of money off chemicals. Bring chemicals to the warehouse over here. Okay, sure, so let's do this. Let's do, uh, let's not sell clothes. Oof, clothes makes us a lot of money too. But the rate at which it comes over here is pretty slow. So let's, okay, let's not sell clothes. Yeah, bricks, steel, and chemicals will eventually start bringing down over here. Uh, I believe that's everything. I'll fine-tune this more. I mean, we're going to have some more resources available soon as well, right? Like plastics and whatnot. Which will sell for a pretty penny. Um, for a pretty cent, if you will. Okay, sure. So, let's go ahead and pick up all the stuff over here. And then we're not taking crops over anymore, because we don't need to do that. Right, we've got our own system going on over here. So, we can get rid of the St. Partia Cargo Harbor. It also no longer needs that level of, uh, that amount of stuff. You're going to pick up all this stuff. And very slowly, make your way over to the western countries beyond the borders. Uh, we'll keep an eye on them, make sure they are able to move. And while you're doing that with steel bricks and chemicals, over here, our little river cargo ship is going to pick up steel and bricks and clothes. Okay. And then it's going to also pick up What else can I sell for a decent chunk of money? What else can I sell for a decent chunk of money? I mean, mechanical components sells for a damn sight more than steel, that's for sure. Gotta bring mechanical components down here, though, if we're gonna do that. It, 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 it does make sense to. I mean, here, we can, we can swap you out, buddy. Um, get you to load up mechanical components as well not steel mechanical components is steel will bring down over here supplement try and try and get our two steel mills to work together a bit better I, the, a lot of the stuff is going to need adjusting um i like so i i personally i like going through the thought process in a video with you guys so y'all know where i'm coming from and what i'm thinking and that way when we you know fine tune things uh we can talk about uh where my thinking might have been incorrect or I might have missed something or it just explains what's going on so that's why I like to kind of go through the thinking out loud while planning this stuff out rather than saying yeah so I've done all this stuff uh it is what it is and if you have any issues uh I'll have to now respond to your comments as opposed to you knowing why I why I did certain things um so I hope you all don't mind me taking a little bit of time to, to do this properly you've got your bricks I mean you can go ahead and and dump those bricks first um, I think that's a good call, just so it's emptied out and we can start with a clean slate. Now here, okay, sure. So, steel bricks, clothes. Do we want to... That's what we're picking up to bring down here. Right, it'll help supplement the steel mill down south. 
I don't know if it needs supplementing, but it will help. We'll pick up bricks as well, because bricks we don't produce down over here, so we definitely need bricks. Right, and clothes we don't produce down here either, so we definitely need clothes. Right. But what else do we want to pick up? We're going to be delivering chemicals and mechanical components over here. So how about we... We're not going to have enough chemicals over here for, you know, that level of export. But we can add it. And we can also add mechanical components. Sure. Whatever we can pick up whenever, right? Um, that's that done. The weird thing is, like, we already have mechanical components going out via train. It makes no sense to have it go out via ship as well. Not, not, not to the, uh, not to the other Soviet neighbors. Same thing with chemicals. It's just so much easier for us to just, like, truck them out. So, fine. We'll, we'll stick to the original set. We will go down, we'll unload. We will not be loading crops anymore. Right, so unload a little bit of everything that we're carrying. And you head on over to the Farminsky Cargo Harbor. No, you will not be doing that. Because there's nothing to drop off over here anymore. Because we're not picking up crops anymore. We don't need to. So this has kind of become useless. We'll, we'll find a use for it. Maybe it'll start going the other way or something. We'll, we'll figure something out. So we can get rid of the Farminsky Cargo Harbor. Right, so you go down over here. You unload everything. And then the excess gets exported. That's why we're going in that order. Because the excess needs to get exported. Alright. Let's get your maiden voyage going over here. Hopefully that'll make us a lot of money. We're off. It's, uh, it's fun, to, fun to be there for these momentous occasions, such as a, a maiden voyage. Pretty neat boat. And the, the wake is actually modeled. I didn't realize the wake was modeled. I thought it was just uh, a texture, you know, to make it look like the, the water is, like, bending up and, and foaming up and stuff. But nope, it is actually modeled. Pretty neat level of detail for, uh, compared to what it looks like from a distance. But yeah, there we go. I just want to see it leave the, uh, the dock over here. The construction yard, rather. And we're... beautiful there really is something about this game it's got a its visuals have a charm to it it's all it's all um complemented by the sheer complexity of the uh of the game if, if it wasn't such a complex game mechanically speaking technically speaking numerically speaking you know in all those senses uh then the visuals would be like oh you know like <laughs> that's what makes this game super special and then the visuals you know when you're attracted to something because uh, it uh because of reasons other than its own beauty. <laughs> that kind of a thing. Man. Ah, cool. Alright, so that's uh, that's en route. Where is our Western export? Well, first of all, let's take a look at this issue over here. Got a flat on fire. Should be fine. With the new fire trucks and everything. The new fire stations. Yeah, look at that. Already dispatched. Beautiful. Like clockwork here. Like clockwork. Things are really getting smooth. I saw a hilarious comment, by the way. Either it was last episode or the episode before that it was like uh, what no no train issues no uh no transportation issues etc etc time to unsubscribe please don't <laughs> um but yeah it is it is funny to have things running smoothly for once in uh, in workers and resources but uh, guaranteed we're going to start seeing a mess uh not i shouldn't say a mess but you know some new challenge when it comes to transportation especially of the resources from down here to uh, to up uh well, past Ox Oxalinsky actually to our to our vehicle production, which actually now that I look at it, I suppose this is also no, it, it's uh, it's Burajarad, uh, it's Burajarad. Fair enough. Over here, uh, missing steel. Not possible. And yeah, we got plenty of steel over here. It's just a matter of uh, it being brought over. That's all. Who's assigned to you? You have the Zavodsk and the Ruralinsky construction offices. Okay, that's why you're missing steel because they expect to get steel from over here. Now, one thing I will do is adjust the distribution office over here because right now what it does is it loads up oh hang on a second Zavotsk, you load up only 10 percent of the steel here okay so how did what happened there oh i guess the rest of it got taken by the uh the rail construction office that's what happened but we do desperately need steel down over here actually uh here's what we'll do we need to stop again we're, we're going to work together with rastinsky over here uh, let's organize the transportation of steel 
from Oksilinski up to the Zabotsk uh, area. Kind of funny for it to be going backwards like that, but it is it is necessary. So let's go ahead and purchase. Hmm. Or actually, this distribution office. Let's see. I could. Good. Like, it's getting steel from here already. Oxelensky Road Cargo. Yeah, it is picking up steel from there already. So we could, at Zavotsk, um, unload steel as well. I wonder how the math here works out. Or if I have to make it separate. I'm curious. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. But this this should allow us to bring steel down over here as well. Hopefully we'll see some movement there. Hopefully some of these trucks will... Oh, would you look at that? Some of these guys are carrying other goods. Well, you're not. You're still sitting there. You're also not. You're still sitting there too. What's up with you? Boards. Are we not unloading boards anywhere? Uh, Rulinski, Zavatsk. Let's go ahead and unload boards. Here, sure. That ought to do the trick. Well, if it's low on boards. We'll keep an eye out. Uh, money's looking good still. Where is our little ship? Yeah, it's going to take forever. But this is the fastest ship. 14 knots is the fastest ship. I, I, I want to catch it, you know, make it. I want to I wanna be there when it actually crosses the border. But uh, I think we're likely to miss it. It's likely to go right by us. Because let's be honest, I mean, it's a long journey and there's so much other stuff to take care of as well. Um, all right, on that note, down over here. I believe right now, okay, workers and passengers are both welcome. But where are the actual vehicles? You. You only carry passengers and students. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple more ZIU-10s. Okay, what about here? Dollars. Yeah, see, there's no... How does that make sense? There's no dollar uh, trolley buses? Um, okay. ZIU-10. I do like consistency. One more for passengers. Right? Um, couldn't find you. Rather, sorry. Copy your schedule over to... I wish I could click like this. Um, view line details. That line, this is the Uprising Grad Trolley Bus Stop 4. The fun name. For passengers. Uprising Grad Trolley Bus Stop 4. Trolley Bus Stop 2, yep. There. Um, let's actually rename this line. Let's call it the Uprising Grad Center. Uh, passenger line. There we go. I feel like that's a bit more communicative, right? Go ahead and launch you as well. So this should allow... Um, well, this should prevent the congestion of passengers over here. And it would bring them from uh, from here up to here, I believe. Right? This is two? Yeah. And from here, they'll go shopping. They'll go do all that stuff. Uh, actually, one thing I need to check is... Do you... Let's let's try and load and unload on both sides. Because I'm not sure. Oops. I'm so used to doing it one way. I I'm not sure if they need to be picked up and brought back home as well when they're passengers. So students and passengers. Yes. Alright. Save those changes. Good stuff. Uh, apart from that, let's go ahead and take a look at the trolley buses that move people. The ZIU... Or <laughs> that move people. Oh my god. I just I just called workers people, implying that passengers aren't people. Oh my god. Uh, ZIU 68289. Okay, cool. Because they will bring workers from here over to, I guess, Trolley Bus 2. We could do that. We could bring them down. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess if we go from there to Trolley Bus 2, they might go up to the, uh, the train station, right? That might work. What's up over here? You're, like, slowly loading everybody up. I'm not going to complain. It's not that much of a traffic jam or anything. Uh, okay, so uh, what was I saying? Right. ZIU 68289. Hmm. You know what? I want to rename that line. Because this vehicle will be using that same line. 68289. Yes. 68289. Go ahead and get you on. Where's custom lines? 
Uprising Grad. Like, what? Um, let's see. Let's see. I mean, I guess I could just call this center line. Center line one for now. We we know what we're talking about, so it's okay. But oh, actually, you know what? I don't know. I just realized. My apologies. Uh, I just realized it because it takes on this stuff as well. The uh, who to pick up stuff. There we go. Yeah, you need to be your own thing. Load. Workers. Yeah, load and unloadables. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Glad I, glad I caught that. Glad I, glad I noticed that. Before, we were like, why aren't these workers going to work? All right, lots of passengers here, though. I mean, they desperately want to go and get food and all that kind of stuff, right? Play sports. Have alcohol. Nice. Why'd you pick up two workers? Well, I guess it was that split second that workers were activated, I suppose, maybe. Anyways, it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll see these people being a lot happier. And hopefully, we'll see their needs being met. That is a university, not a house. Come on now. There we go. Some without job, meat, culture, sport. You guys have lots of demands. I mean, I might need to build up some stuff over there. Make sure they're still satisfied. They actually cannot get to the store from there, right? That's why we have the... Uh, vehicle here. Let's go ahead and follow somebody. They want food. They haven't had food in forever, it seems, right? Let's see where they go. I would expect to see them go to walking to Cinema Soju. Okay, so they're trying to fulfill their culture. I just want to see how this really, like, works, I suppose. Um... So that I, again, I just want to have a better understanding. Interesting that, uh, culture is done in minutes. Okay, fair enough. All right, so you're heading on over here. So this is great. This is great. They, we, we know that they're able to go from, uh, from there to the station to wherever they need their needs to be fulfilled. Uh, interesting that it goes above 100%. Okay. And now you're headed to the shopping center. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This is what I mean. Like, how cool is that? Like, these are all people. And they are, if we wanted to watch them moving around, we totally could. And you're going to go over here. You're hopefully going to be able to pick up some food. There is food available. But are you, are you in front of the shop or are you in the shop, right? Let's see. You only have so much free time before you have to head back home. That's why this becomes a... Oh, see, we ran out of food, and now they're headed home. Oh, nope, they came back in. No, now they're waiting for the bus. Where will that bus take you? Are you going to perhaps go down here instead? Are you, are, are you going to go to a second place to pick up food, potentially? Or are you just going to wait over here with everybody else? Are there even vehicles? Servicing this uh, bus stop? Because it doesn't look like it. Huh. I should sort that out. Take people from here down to here, maybe? Do we seriously not have a bus? I mean, I don't see, yeah, assigned vehicles, right? Because it does, yeah, it does show up. Wow, okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. Let's go ahead and get that uh, sorted. Let's go ahead and purchase a new... Acura 280, I suppose. I mean, it's a pretty busy bus stop. There's a lot of people here. Sure, let's get one of you. All right, I wish it opened the uh, the uh, information window right when you made the purchase. You're going to go from... I think it's reasonable to go from here down to here. Or even down to here, I suppose. Sure, let's, let's try that. Let's try that. See what that does for us. Because my, my thinking is that from here, if somebody gets dropped off over here, they'll be able to access everything. The weird thing is, like, from here, they are able to access this space, so why wouldn't they go 
the shopping center instead. Maybe the shopping center was... Yeah, okay, there we go. That, that answers that question. The shopping center is also out of food, so why would you go there in the first place? All right, cool. It's all coming together. It's all starting to make uh, make sense. It's all it's all visible, I guess. All right, we're, we're moving through. Is that going to stop us? I don't think so. Otherwise, it would probably give me the warning. We're, we're almost actually across the border. We're, we're almost there. You can see how long it takes one shipment. Now, where is our on the topic of shipment? I guess it's gone off. Oh, no, there it is. You're still loading, eh? Because you want to get to 100%. Alright. Well. Let's take a look at our steel situation here. Bit of an issue. Mechanical components being picked up. You are carrying them down. You're going to export them at the medium custom house. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and drop this down to... Let's say... Um... Hmm. Sure, let's do this. Let's drop this down to... Well, actually, no. Let's not do that. I'm going to find the best way to organize this. Alright, let's drop this down to... Sure, 69%. Also add... 100% of the boards. See if that works. And then I want you to come down over here. Unload the mechanical components. Yeah, there we go. That way, the uh, ship that goes to the western countries will be able to export mechanical components. The only thing we have to worry about is this intricate dance down over here becoming a mess. Because we have a lot of trains that work this area. So that's the one thing that concerns me about making changes over here. Because things have been going pretty smoothly for, for a fairly long time. I, I worry if we've broken that now. You should be able to move through smoothly. These are all relatively short trains, so you know that shouldn't be a problem. And I, I think we've got this pretty cleanly organized that it should work smoothly. But, you know, only one way to find out, I suppose. There's the drop-off over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, our steel train is going to need some uh, some loving. We need some adjusting with the steel. The, the number of workers that come up to the steel mill has dropped significantly, and that concerns me. So we really want to look into that. I think we're going to really want to look into that. Wow, this is still not at the border. Almost there, but still not quite. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, why do we have few people coming up to the steel mill now? Like, what is what is that drop in, in people resulting from? I mean, as I say that, maybe I was just looking at it at the wrong time. I wonder if I should reduce the efficiency of the mechanical components factory. Because we're just eating up all the steel. We're not able to keep up with production here. Look at that. Look at that chugging. And the map's up over here. Weird. Maybe I need more uh, people coming up there. Take a look at that. In just a moment's time. I want to see where it is. It's coming around this bend over here. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll need to... I, mean, I don't know, maybe provide more employment over there or something. Numbers are looking good so far. We are past that 20% mark now. Good stuff. Unemployment is way down, so that's amazing. Probably because of the construction going on right now. It's good though, it's good. Escapes this whole year, if we take a look, 2700. Last year, yeah, we're, we're doing significantly better. We are doing significantly better. And there's no point just watching this thing for like 20 minutes. It'll take 20 minutes to get to the border. Um, Alright, so. Back down to Vecherinkograd. Looks like our little river ship over here is making its way over for its first uh, shipment. Good stuff. Let's, uh, what was I looking at? What was I looking at? Wait, all right. Buddy, how do we get more workers up over here? I mean, what I think a big part of it might be is we might need to get more people specifically told to go here for work. I was doing a lot more of that previously. I think now that I don't do that, they're kind of just going wherever they want to. 
There's a lot of employment to be had up there, right? Let's let's try a little bit of uh, specification, a little bit of specifying, and and see if that uh, balances it out. Because there's that fine balance between having unemployed people because you're where you're sending them doesn't have any jobs available, and having reduced efficiency because where you're sending people, or because you're not telling people where to go, and so they're going to places that are less important. I mean, the other way to do it is reduce the targeted efficiency. But that's not necessarily the answer, because sometimes one building will be in a place where it can go to two places to work, whereas another building will be in a place that can only go to one place where people can work. And the building that can go to two places prioritizes the place that the other building can go to, and then the other building says there's no jobs to be found. You know what I mean? Now let's pick up the pace over here, because as the sun rises, I definitely want to catch, uh, catch this first uh, leaving of the border, if, if you will. Off we go. It is quite nice to see. There's a little, uh, customs house. Low panning camera. It's a, it's a momentous occasion. It's a momentous occasion. Time to, uh, Time for everything to start making sense from uh, how our people are fed and and clothed and uh, and getting their entertainment to uh, literally making sense. There it is. It's on its way. Yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make some dollars. Wow. I'm so glad. I just happened to notice a little bit of uh, land that was stopping the other uh, ship from going through. I was a lot further back, but I just happened to notice that between sessions, and I was like, wait a second. Is this the problem point? And it is. All right, now this is, all, we don't have to watch the rest of this journey. It's gonna go all the way, it's gonna round the bend, it's gonna go off to the world uh, before it comes back. So we don't have to watch the whole thing. I hope y'all agree. I mean, I don't know if, if, I hope I don't get a bunch of angry comments being like, oh, how could you have missed that? Well, mainly because uh, there's a lot of other stuff to do, I guess. Uh, double speed will allow us to get some stuff done a little bit faster. If we head on down to Uprising Grad, look at this progress over here. Already so much work done. Beautiful to see. Beautiful to see. Amazing. I love it. How's the mechanical components factor coming along? It's not. But that's because we still don't have steel up at Zavatsk. We got some. Let's see how the balance is maintained. Our train... Or rather, our, our track construction, I should say. Oh, look at this! We've completed this element. Like, this section. We have any jamming going on over here? Is there a reason why there aren't two vehicles en route at the same time? Evidently, there is a reason. What's going on here? Where's our next block? Hmm, I guess one doesn't exist. Alright, let's go ahead and put one down. Um, there, let's do that. Because one of them only needs to be... Well, actually, hold on a second. They both need to be two ways. We're coming and going. For now, obviously. Just for now. All right? How's our ship doing? Oh, this is such a long way away. I found the most efficient way to cut across. And, like, the most efficient camera angle to use. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, there we go. Boom. Arrived right on time. Right on time. Yeah, it's going to go all the way to the edge. Now, this bridge is the question here. How are we going to navigate that bridge? And am I going to have to break it down or something? Doesn't seem to be having any troubles. I also, again, I need to check to make sure we're bringing chemicals down to uh, the loading point. Cool. I'm very curious here. Okay, sure. I'll take it. I will take it. Head on back over here, and let's get back to work. Give me a quick second here, folks. Just gotta make a quick edit. And we're back. 
There are just some really loud noises going on outside that hopefully didn't get picked up. I apologize for that, but uh, all right, let's go ahead and resume. Back to double speed. We can see all this stuff get done, and hopefully we'll see. Uh, hopefully we'll see a couple of these projects get done. Actually, let's take a look at our oil fields right now, real quick as well. I want to make sure these are seeing some progress. I mean, they're assigned, but nobody's coming down here to work on them. And I think the uh, and the housing has kind of taken over in terms of a priority, which I. Uh, I'm not a fan of. I mean, well, I mean, it's not a bad idea to have the housing, obviously, but it's just going to be a bunch of unemployed people sitting in new houses. <laughs> that's that's the concern there. And I mean, yeah, this is a lot of uh, workers being brought up over here. Of course, the workers is empty, well, consistently because they're all being sent up over here, and the train is picking up the rest of them. Yeah, that's uh, that's the that's the dance that we're dancing right now. What are you going to do? I'm just pretty good though. These will be done soon enough. Missing prefab panels. I think what I'll do is um where, where actually where are prefab panels being produced over here? Up over here, right? We should be bringing prefab panels down to our um storage here we are. Yeah, we are. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to suspend the construction over here. And over here. Because we're missing something that is required for the current phase. Let's go ahead and Collect some prefab panels down over here, fill it up to 195 tons, and then resume, and that way it can be a lot more clean and organized. I think that's the way to do it. I think that's the way to do it. This place is on fire, but I suspect that our fire station... Yeah, we'll respond right away. We're good. We're good. One injured citizen. Not going to last very long. The other thing I want to handle, actually, it's kind of perfect that we've ended up over here. Oh, yeah, we've got I mean, lots of trucks already over here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I want to organize our trucks as well and make sure we're shipping, you know, ore properly. I think the only way to do that is to have a bunch of trucks. <laughs> Just have a bunch of trucks. If we're gonna if we're gonna be shipping in this way from Oksalinski over to Rostinski, we need a lot more trucks. Let me just check over here what the deal is. It comes through, it immediately gets consumed. No surprise, right? No surprise. Another building on fire. We have a fire station nearby, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's the response coming through. Beautiful. Like clockwork. Okay, um... Trucks. <laughs> trucks down over here makes most sense. There's no other cargo, or rather, uh, vehicle depot. Yeah. So, Zobotsk makes the most sense. Let's go ahead and get a bunch more. Hey, would you look at that? Our first dollars. Wasn't a lot, but, you know, we made them. That's so cool. There it is. We're making we're making bucks. Making those bucks. All right, um back on ba back on task. Focused over here. Hold on. If I were to buy using dollars. There are no options. Maybe we get better harvesters or something. Anyways, right. So back back to our rubles and our our trusty ruble rubles. Um what am I looking for? I'm looking for open hull. No, I'm not looking for open hull. I'm looking for a dumper. Because it is iron ore that we're taking. AMZ is still, I believe, the superior carrying capacity. 12s, 12s, 13s, 11s, yep, 16. So, yep. go ahead and sign your schedule. All of you. Launch all of you as well. Let's go. Do that does the trick. Because again, the um, the aggregate loading loads these trucks a lot faster. Like, let's see, if we go into regular speed, it's like within seconds these things get loaded up. Compared to the time it was taking loading up over here, right? So we should be able to move a lot faster now. We should be able to move a lot faster now. All right, cool. So that's that taken care of. These guys are now back to working down over here, I suspect. I suspect. Well, these are definitely getting completed over here. Do we have power? Oh, we have power over here. This is working now. We cannot store or export oil because this pumping station, this pumping station, this needs to be built. Go ahead and assign you. Thank you. And then it continues on and goes up over here. We're very close. It's almost time. We're very close. It, once this section gets built, oil will start to flow. 
Can we really have two momentous occasions in one in one session? Oil and uh, and uh, trade with the uh, with the West. Yeah, we need to check up check up on our food situation. I guess we still need more um, fields. As we're loading up, I mean, harvest takes time is the thing, right? Harvest takes time. All the food that's being brought down right now is being brought down over here, but is this the right spot for it? Like all these fields... Bringing crops down over here. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at this. These guys... When they harvest, they go to the small barn. Yeah, let's go ahead and edit that. Rather than the small barn, let's take you up over here as well. And then I feel like, honestly, I feel like uh, all the harvesting that comes down over here will be taken up over there instead. Rather than... I don't want to say wasted over here because it is being processed. These a number of workers that do alcohol. We don't need alcohol that badly. Hopefully that'll free up more crops for more food. But the issue is that the food is staying here. It's not being pushed to this warehouse. Again, that's the same problem as we were having before. Oh, okay, well right now it's being picked up right away. Just very, 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 very slowly, which is painful. And it's not like five tons of food is going to make a world of difference, let's be honest. Yeah, I need to sort that out. But the moment harvest is, uh, you know, done, the moment all the crops arrive, we're doing okay. That's just sowing. There's a bit of a... Like, there's a bit of, um... What's the one I'm looking for? Like, where... Like, the timings are a little off, which is what we want, because we want it to be like, okay, th these these fields are done harvesting, and then all that crop gets used up, and then this field is done, or these fields are done harvesting, and then that crop gets used up, but then by that time, these fields are being harvested again. Like, that's that little back and forth dance, if you will. Uh, but yeah, it does seem like that's not enough. Maybe time for some more fields down over here, I suppose. Doesn't hurt. Oh, before I make any mistakes over here. Okay, I just want to make sure Audible was off over there. Um, fields would be under food. Big field? I don't know if we can fit more big fields over here. Maybe a couple of medium fields. Crazy how big this space is becoming. Maybe we can do a little bit of flattening. We might be able to fit one. Yeah. Yeah, just gotta flatten the terrain a little bit down over here. Cool. Right from the center. Bring you down, buddy. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. All right, time to use some rubles. Time to use some rubles. There we go. Go ahead and flatten height from center. Beautiful. Yes, it's expensive, but I don't think anybody... And I'm, let me know if I'm wrong. Nobody wants to sit and watch me flatten train for 20 minutes. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe that's why we're all here. Maybe that's why we're all here. I have my doubts. Flatten you a little bit more. There it is. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Make sure we're lined up nicely here. Okay. And... Oh. That doesn't look nice, actually. Is that... that straight? That's... That looks... more straight. Sure. That looks better to me. Pop you down over here. I think that's enough room for the roads. We'd get some medium fields, maybe, or some small fields. One down over here. Another one down over here. I should probably fit one. Flat terrain. Let's go ahead and flatten this. I don't know how much of a difference a small field is going to make, I'll be completely honest, but... Go 
but it is what it is. There we go. Let's see. What about a medium field? Uh, I don't think I can fit a medium field here. Pretty tight. Oh. Yeah. That's not good. Unless. Yeah, that's not good. All right, two small fields it is. Now, hopefully, we can actually... Um, assign that many spots. That's the other question. Oh, come on. Come on. Not terrain. <laughs> this game. So particular sometimes. But does that do the trick? That's got to be flat enough. Nope. What is... What? Why? Why are you doing this to me, game? Yeah, fine. Let's do it this way instead. If I can fit a pair? No, of course I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. I'll take it. I'll take it. Do not auto-build. I suppose we would want to make the connection down over here instead, right? Over here. Put you over here, I suppose. These vehicles would go down, around, down, up, over, through... Down. Hopefully, they'll be able to loop around this way. We'll find out, I suppose. Connect you. Connect you. I guess we'll go up a little bit and then connect you. Yeah, there we go. There. And hopefully, a rope connection to the field. Go ahead and make these two ways again. That'll do the trick. Come on. Come on. There we go. No rope connection. What? Oh, right. Oh, my God. Actually, got to make that connection. There it is. Cool. We are able to hopefully keep these as one ways. Just keeps things neat, I find. Just keeps things neat. There we go. Um, and then let's go ahead and make sure that you are also connected to you, you, and you. All right. A little bit more. Hopefully it'll do something for us. Or do we have to start importing crops again? God, are we back, back, back to that conversation? Back to that conversation, are we? Lots of crops over here, that's good, but that is that because production isn't happening as quickly as it can? No, that's not the case at all. We've got a lot going on, but I guess it's because this is not still the first harvest. No way this is still the first harvest. Maybe. That is a lot of fields, so maybe, maybe. Uh, food, though. Has food started arriving down over here? That's the question. No. What's the... Why? Why is that not happening? We are backed up on food over here. So where is my distribution office, and why is it not distributing. <laughs> I guess I could add some more trucks. I guess I could add some more trucks. You guys are all coming down over here. I mean, sure, there's food to pick up here as well, which is great. I'm not going to complain about that. Funny out. Like, when it rains, it pours, except when it when it grains, it pours. Words. <laughs> Go ahead and buy some more of you. Get rid of you. High capacity, high capacity only. Taking with the rubles. Taking with the rubles, there we go. Oh, that helps. Only one shipment of dollars. I mean, again, it's uh, it's slow going because it's such a long journey, but it's nice to just even have it going. Nice to even just have it going. I, I imagine we've made a uh, shipment of uh, to the to our to our Soviet neighbors as well. All right, I'm down over here. Nah, still not done. <laughs> still not done. All the resources are here, but nobody to actually build it. But uh, but once uh, once this connection is done, black gold shall flow, and that can make us a lot of money. I've been told that can make us a tremendous, tremendous sum of money. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Over here, prefab panels are almost filled up. As soon as they are, we'll go ahead and get this started. Over here, oh, would you look at that? 
mechanical components up and running. So that means from over here, we should send some people up to the mechanical components factory. Honestly, it's starting to become, uh, we're starting to dilute the, uh, the worker spread quite a bit. Not the end of the world though. We can go ahead and add over here, reduce, yeah, the construction office, I think. Well, eventually the construction office won't need any workers. Eventually. That's not a problem. The ore processing plants don't need that many workers at all. We're fine. Especially considering the rate at which we are uh, overflowing with iron. Uh, back up at Rustinsky. I mean, this is obviously still, yeah. How far apart are the iron ore deliveries? Got 16 tons there. Where is the next delivery? 3,000. Oh, there's the next delivery. 16 tons, 16 tons. Where's the one after that? There it is. You know, I mean, it's not terrible. If we add a bunch more trucks, there's the next one, there's the next one, there's the next one, there's the next one. Boom, 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 boom. If we add, like, another 10 trucks or something, it might actually start to keep up. It might actually start to keep up. Promising. Promising. Let's take a look really quickly at our economy here. What is this? Excuse me. Foreign manpower. What did I... Oh, right, all the terraforming. I was like, when did this happen? All the terraforming. That's when that happened. That's when that happened. And all the buying of it. Right, true, true. This has been an expensive month. This has been an expensive month. Last month, we made a lot of money. This month, there it is. Our first, you know, sum of dollars. The green... Seeing... Green import continues, obviously. Overall, things have gotten a lot better. A little bit of bitumen. Fuel, we're going to cut off soon. Super excited. Oil, we're going to cut off soon as well. Hopefully, super excited. Uh, one thing I do need to do... Get chemicals, right? Chemicals moving down south. There's a problem here. No workers, missing wood. I gotta, I gotta sort this out. We'll, we'll sort that out next time, I think. I mean, this was a good session to get trade up and running. Next session, we're gonna have oil up and running and then focus on the construction of um, our vehicle production line while hopefully some of these tracks get done as well. We've made some good progress over here. We are almost actually able to bring passengers over. And wow, we've made some great progress over here. We made some great progress over here. And now that I think now we should be able to see vehicles on both sides moving. That'll make a big difference too, and then we got to get working on this stuff as well. Man, this was an exciting episode. This was a fun episode. Lots of major, uh, major milestones reached, I think. But uh, the biggest one was probably, yeah. No, I mean, not just that, but also, like I said earlier, you know, just seeing people move back and forth and, and seeing them have access to things or not have access to things. Uh, lots of unemployment, I think, yeah, back on the rise as this construction has been brought to a stop. Uh, but once all these industries are up and running, I think that's going to drop again. So that's that's exciting times for sure. 35k, almost at 36. Government loyalty is well past 20% now. We're, we're firmly loyal. Uh, and uh, overall, yeah, these numbers are looking uh, pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. Better, better, better. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. As always... A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, the gold thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, Das Vidanya.